Hello, my name is Nick Wigdahl, and we're looking at the prototype of Klein's Beatliner Large, which is the new machine that was launched at Agrotechnica. It's a bitterly cold day up here in North Norfolk, but the engineers from Klein are pleased to be able to still keep harvesting well into February, while all the sugar beet factories in Germany have closed. Let's go and take a look at the machine. First, we see the Beatliner Compact, one of three machines that Klein introduced at Agrotechnica. These are the Compact, the Large and the Max, having respectively 18, 30 and 40 cubic meter bunker capacities, although all are six row machines. Now we're looking at the Large, and this is the machine that we're going to focus on in this report, although all three machines share similar components. Klein, having sold two of their self-propelled loader cleaners, are now seeing the UK market as once again an important one. An interesting twist is that on the day that Farmers Weekly visited, two farmers had come over from Ireland to look at the machine. Despite the fact that Ireland has no sugar beet uh, processing facilities, sugar beet is being increasingly seen as an important bioenergy crop, and these two men were looking at the machine precisely for this reason. At the front of the machine, the OptiCut flail cutter allows the tops to either be discharged to the side or put in line, and the control mechanism means much that a much more precise cut can be achieved. Klein have opted for digging shears rather than opal wheels, and these can move 35 millimeters each side from the center. Rollers rather than a web transfer the beet from the lifting section into the main cleaning area. And this is an interesting feature, giving pre-cleaning. Rubber is used on the teeth of the ring main elevator to reduce weight and clogging in muddy conditions. A horizontal auger spreads beet evenly into the main bunker, while the discharge elevator can create clamps 10 meters wide, suitable for pickup by self-propelled loader cleaners. Klein have made some interesting decisions about the layout of the machine. At the rear, there are four rather than two tyres, which increases the surface contact by a claimed 18%. Furthermore, Klein have decided to place the engine between the cab and the bunker. This puts it closer to the working mechanisms at the front, which draw on most of the hydraulic power. Increasingly, the battle between the manufacturers is being fought over the control mechanisms. Here we see an engineer from Bosch Rexroth who provide all the drive components, fine-tuning the parameters of the machine. Now let's go and join test driver Meinolf Reitmeier in the cab. Virtually all of the functions can be controlled steplessly, whether it's forward speed, speed of the cleaning sieves or of the ring main elevator. As Meinolf puts it, on the old machines everything was black and white. Now you've got shades of grey. One potential disadvantage of putting the engine next to the cab is that the noise level seems to be greater than that on other machines. This is a, an opinion rather than a scientific measurement, but it would be interesting to see what Klein do about this. Here we see the bunker stabilization mechanism working. Yeah. It can tilt 10 degrees either side yeah. to compensate for hilly or uneven ground. We hope you've enjoyed this production by Agri Insight and look out for our overview of beet harvesters which will be appearing in September.